Welcome back, survivors. I'm the survival of this, and we return to Dredge. So last episode, I admit I was a bit cowardly and decided to take a little bit of a back from Devil's Spine. Just because of everything that was kind of going on for like each of the temples and needing explosives and that. I'll probably try saving that for last, because I feel like having an actual X to go to Stellar Basin next might be either a good sign it's intended to go and handle some of these other ones first, or what, but... Let me just do a quick check. It's the start of a new day, storage, we're good, everything's there. If I really wanted to, I could go for the dry dock, get up the money for that, but I think what I'd rather do is try to focus on getting a little bit more progression-wise done. So we're going to make our way to the southwest and check out the Stellar Basin. And I'm wondering if it's called the Stellar Basin because of... Not so much like the, it's a stellar place to be, but almost like the stellar star connection. You know what, just because this is here and they will be a nice bit of money. We'll flip them upside down so that way they're catatonic and they don't cause me trouble in the hull. But yeah, it's nice to be able to catch two of those and know they'll sell for a couple, or a hundred or so each. So let me first go and find one of the docking spots in the basin. Just that way I can try offloading this. Okay, that's just cod. Uh, storm's going pretty good. I'm not going to stop at any of the uh, docking sites yet, just in case there is more like uh, time limited effects like we had when it came to uh, the person in the blue robes. It might have just been if I had completed that, we would have gotten uh, special, like, fishing equipment. Because I don't know if, like, if the player would get punished that badly for, like, messing up. Ooh, the Blood Snapper. Blood leaks endlessly from under its scales, pulling the leaf beneath it no matter where it's placed. Yee, I'm not going to take that aboard. Okay. Yeah, that'll be the end of that. And let me just take a quick look at the map. So, actually, I didn't expect a tropical area, to be honest. Uh, some treasures. Again, I don't think those are really worth stopping to get. Nope. Abyssal there. Uh, actually, quite a bit of abyssal stuff around here. I know if I can get... Oh, are the Silver Tongue. So what does that do? Uh, does that give us 10% increased sell prices and 10% reduced buy prices? That's going to be really good. And yeah, this... Okay, there's something weird about the seabed here. Well, we've got a new uh, note there. Okay, I'm guessing this is one of the only places to dock here, so we might as well. A lab and a generator. I don't even have storage here. Okay, I guess we'll check with the lab. The laboratory is in ruins with equipment and research papers strewn about the place. Where do you want to look? I guess we'll inspect the equipment on the table first. Don't open anything up yet. There are some strange-looking prototype parts on the table, but you can't see any use for them right now. On the other side of the table, you find a hastily scrawled note. It reads, Not safe. Expect retaliation imminently. Evacuating to fort. Okay, how about the cupboards? Check. There's a research part. Okay, that was at least worth that. What about on the floor? You look around on the floor. There are cracks in the base of the structure that grow to large gashes as you follow them along to the walls. Something extremely large and powerful created these holes. You slowly reach your arm into one. Now the research part. Pluck an item from a gouge in the floor. Okay, what about the generator? An old generator sputters and ticks over. Oh. God, do I want to rest till day or... You know what, I was a coward last episode. We're going brave and... Go oh, pretty. Although I don't know if I should be out in this. Uh, we got a glowing octopus. Okay, where's... 
Okay, so there's a research outpost here. Oh, I see. I think that was a moray eel, or some kind of eel. I've got to be very careful. Because I don't know what to expect from this area. Or... If that's bioluminescence, that could be a giant tentacle I see there. Yeah, those... I think that's what those are. Those are giant tentacles that look like they're just in the water there. So I don't think I want to go over the main part of the basin at night. But I also don't see the... Oh, never mind, I see the red glow. It is, of course... The middle of the basin at night. <laughs> oh, just kind of bumped into that a bit. Is this just the merchant? Okay, it is just the traveling merchant. Yeah. I'm a little surprised they've used her for all of the different areas. I thought maybe they'd have, like, little towns to each, but... I guess not. Yeah, let me check my storage. Plunk those in for now. I don't suppose I can research... Yeah, not yet, but I... That feels like it's going to be mandatory to get. But you know what? I do have the money. Let's get the tier 3 upgrade. I mean, I still need a lot of materials for anything further. But at least now we've got a lot more uh, capacity to our boat. Oh yeah, tons of capacity now. So the question... You know what? There's still one more spot to hit, so I'm going to work my way up to it. I feel like as long as I don't go into the middle of the basin, I might be safe here. There are the jellyfish to mind. Oh, there's our not-so-friendly buddy back. That's been a long time since we've seen them. But yeah, there's the fort up here, and that's where the note mentioned the research post evacuated out to. Might as well just see what's here. Because there might be like a little storyline or quest chain to do to get safely into the middle of the basin. Uh, not much here, researcher. Oh, um, hello. I wasn't expecting visitors. Who are you? Oh, a fisherman. Ah, oh, yes. I thought you had the look. But a fisherman all the way out here? Strange. Well, it's a pleasure to meet you all the same. I've not seen another soul in months. In fact, I could do with your help, if you had time. What do you need? I need help collecting samples to study. I was originally posted at the research outpost on the interior of the basin, but it was attacked. A large creature emerged from the depths and destroyed the outpost. Now it rests in the center of the basin. Those were tentacles. I fled here and have been making do as best I can. But I had to leave most of my equipment behind, so now my research has come to a halt. Take a look at the list of specimens I need. Please drop them off here. You might need to experiment with different fishing strategies. Collect all of them. Okay, I see. So, yeah, the glowing octopus is no problem. The firefly squid shouldn't be. I'll need a trawl net, though. Okay, tell me about your... What a, what sort of creature attacked? Well, I got the sense that it was attacking the research post itself rather than me specifically. I suspect it was disturbed by some of my monitoring equipment. There were dozens of machines running there, all powered by a noisy generator. It was huge. Larger than any other marine species I've studied, it attacked with tentacles, so I'd guess it's some sort of octopus or squid or an anemone. One of my research vessels was moored around the back of the station, so I managed to slip away in that while it was tearing it apart at the front. There's a lot of valuable data and equipment left there, but I'm not going back. I can't. I won't face it again. Is there anything else? Have you noticed anything else unusual since you arrived? Now that you mention it, I've been so preoccupied with the attack and having her build here, I'd almost forgotten. I found these letters, from my sister. She sent them to me while I was studying before... before she... Quiet for a moment, stares off to the side. Anyway, kept finding them amongst my papers. I don't remember packing them, but I must have. I started finding them more frequently. They turned up in my collection nets, in my sampling tubes. They were letters I'd never seen before, but they were in her writing, they were in her name. They were saying things, talking about things that happened after she died. I can't explain it. Yeah, that's a little... concerning. What about yourself? Uh, okay, don't think there's much to say. Studied biological sciences at Iron Haven College. It was a struggle. There were no other female students in the department that year. Or the year before, or the year before that. It's hard not to feel like an outsider in an environment like that, you know? You probably don't. 
When I graduated, I managed to find a job at the Northern Biological Research Society. And then, well, I was posted here by myself. I thought I would relish the peace and quiet, but I miss having company. I've always had someone, or at least a pet. Out here, it's just machines. Okay, nothing for now. So what we'll do, because it does seem pretty peaceful as long as we don't go right into the basin itself. Maybe we'll see about trying to get the trawl net after I pick up this bottle. And see, okay, yeah, I'm trying, I'm getting a little turned around here. So I want to go... Uh, can I actually just catch that jellyfish? Oh no, I think I need the trawl net to actually scoop it up. Oh, shoot, 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 shoot. Oof. Okay, just dodge that. Now, that's probably going to come back and hit us hard. Oh, no, maybe it doesn't keep going while we're fishing. Either that or I got dumb lucky. Okay, don't need the lights on. And it's still coming, eh? Well, that I can deal with. drift around. And now we just gotta get back towards that. Uh, you know what? I might as well stop and catch this. Nope. Well, so much for turning in that... Ooh. Actually, I'm surprised that we got Barracuda. Actually, it makes sense given this is like big tropical area. But you know what? Let me get rid of that before it infects anything else I'm catching here. And there's a trophy-sized one. At least this will stock us up for a little bit of cash, and then we'll see about getting the trawl net. Hmm. Yeah, not too bad there. Okay, so research. Yeah, we need improved trawl net. Now if we go to the shipyard... Actually, that probably is us. Okay, yeah, see, that's... Okay, we'll send that to storage. Oh, shoot, I actually... I'll have to keep doing some more fishing. I don't have the money for it. Well, at least it'll give me a chance to get more familiar with the area. And I don't think there's anything like I'm super cut off from thanks to the... Uh, super versatile rod I've got. No, oh, Coral Grouper. You guys are actually a lot bigger than I thought you'd be. But that's good. It might mean we'll sell these off for a bit more funds. Ooh, Consumed Grouper. Once Dazzling Skin now bleached and eroded, it barely resists and believed it a final end. That makes me wish I had an incinerator I could just, like, toss these fish into and just be done with them. Okay, and it's getting dark again. But that should be enough, I think, to get the trawl net. So, fish market. Sell, 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 and sell. I don't actually know if I super need the trawl net, but I feel like... Try and go over the big basin with the super sized thing down there is not a good idea to do. Okay, I'll have to uh, move you over there. And then this one. Might as well go for, I guess, the 270. Okay, so if I undock, so now if I do that, if I just go along, oh, not oh, my bad, okay, I guess I just, oh, firefly squid, that is one of what I needed, oh, this is actually more.
So it doesn't actually add it immediately to your cargo hold. I guess it sort of uh, stores it up. I can't remember if it was the squid I needed for the, uh... The troll net for it was a jellyfish. I'm pretty sure it was a jellyfish. Wait a minute. Is this island a tentacle as well? I just noticed the coloration to it. Oh boy, that might be what this entire basin is. Because yeah, looking at what I thought was a rock, I'm wondering if that's like a pattern for uh. Oh, actually, can we get a hammerhead? Oh no, I need. Of course, I don't have the equipment anymore for that. Okay. So now if I do this, and I bring it in... Okay, but how do I... Raise or lower your net, move around to catch things. Yeah, but how do I, like, go through the inventory of what I've got? If I hit I, it brings up messages, which I do need to read for you guys and check myself, but, like... How do I add it from... Oh. Okay, so you know what? Let me stop here, hand over the squid. Ah, to do about the specimens you're after. Take a look at the list. Yeah, there's that done. It is a jellyfish I need for the other one, so I guess I'll just keep going along and see what I get, but... Sometimes I really gotta go slow and just read the screens for what they're telling me. Now, I don't know if the jellyfish will just be, like, something as I'm going by I'll get, or I have to, like, specifically look for a school. Oh, but there's another shrine. Oh, you can see the tentacles moving down there. Because of the way it looks, I'm thinking it's a giant octopus of some sort. Oh, these probably are abyssal fish, aren't they? Yeah. Now they look like just a species of angler fish. Ah, uh, no, not after any treasures. I'm just going to keep to the edges. And hopefully avoid any attention from the big thing down there. No. I didn't even stop over here. Is there... No, there's... It doesn't seem like there's a dock for here, but there's an entire... A community from looks of it. Or at least there once was. Uh, we'll get some of the cloth, because I know I'll need that eventually. But yeah, I think it was a smart idea to come to Stellar Basin next. I feel like the, uh, it is possible- Oop, let me get the lights on. Yeah, there's our buddy out there. Well, I call it our buddy, but it's really not. God, those stones just grew right from the bottom there. Okay, good news is we are catching fish. I just need to find a- grouping of the octopus. I, oh, right up here, I think, is it. Now, you know what? Let me check the net, just see... No jellyfish yet. Okay, well, let me dock here, sell a few things off, and I'm going to let the autosave happen, just to see what happens if we drive over the center area. Nope, okay, well, those rotted out on me. 
Uh, my storage. Just toss these. Oh, actually, I'm super good on cloth now, so... Yeah, so we're saved. What happens if we try going right for the very middle? How bad does this go? Oh. Okay, you know what? I'm quickly going to do just a quick return. Get that auto save because that's actually what we need. Um... Okay, but how do I move it from the net into my cargo hold? Like, yeah, I can pick up, but I don't have any way to... Okay, I'll have to do a little bit more investigating, but let's at least... Yeah, let the autosave happen, undock, and go and see what happens when we drive right over the very middle, trying for the thing to dredge up. Because my guess is this is going to go very poorly. But since we... Well, the serpent just kind of bashed into us, but... Oh, yeah. Yeah, it's not happy. Oh, boy. That hurt. Yeah, so all it does... Okay, so I've got one more damage. Might as well let it do its... I was kind of hoping to see something special, like it reaches up and like sucks you down for like the kill, but we'll just load the autosave and see about getting to uh, the researcher. Because I do have technically everything she's after. The only thing is just that I don't know how to transfer from the net to our actual hull. We've got ourselves another fish at least. But yeah, there's going to... She'll probably give us something that'll let us do... Either like stun it or give us a chance to fish properly and dredge out what we need. Like, yeah, I can rotate, but I can't actually seem to put it into the cargo hold. Maybe there's an option here now that I'm docked. Okay, researcher. About the specimens you're after... Oh, okay. I can access the net here, so there we go. I thought it would have added straight to the hull inventory. Thank you. Looks like you've got all the surface specimens I need. But, ah, uh, yes, I do need some from deeper down. That's going to be a problem. Why is that a problem? Develop the device to retrieve samples from the abyssal zone that was in the other research outpost before the attack. An idea of how to keep the creature bay long enough to collect these samples, but while I work on that, I need to retrieve some prototype parts. Carefully. It's just you do you go during the day, I wouldn't want you to be out on the reef at night. Okay. So... Now that I know that the net actually keeps things for as long as it does, let's see if we can sell a lot off uh, to that traveling merchant. And then we just have to head out there to pick up the prototype parts, and I guess this will allow us to start working getting abyssal catches. Or it might at least open us up to researching that abyssal rod that's in the... Uh, research tree. Okay, our panic should start going down, because it is bright and there's nothing really happening. But yeah, now that I know the trawl net doesn't, like, work off of your base inventory, you could get a lot of stuff through it. Hmm. Yeah, that's not too bad. Okay. You know, let me just... Ah, because I think the trawl net might slow us down while it's activated. Let's just take haste and drive on over to the research outpost. 
But yeah, I was kind of expect. I was hoping for something a little bit more unique if you were to die to, like, one of these things. Like, I thought maybe the tentacles would reach up and drag you straight down, or... Well, I guess because the serpent is what it is, it doesn't really have, like, it crunches your boat. You're not intended to die, I guess, is, of course, the big thing, so... There's some things to mind. But it does feel like both the Gale Cliffs and the Stellar Basin are meant for you to tackle before possibly the other two up north. Okay, but let's snag what she needs from here. The laboratory. Laboratories and ruins, equipment and research strewn about the place. Where do you want to look? Equipment on the table. You find the prototype parts of the researcher needs to assemble the sampling device. You stow on board. And that's everything. So we'll see just about take... No, this is a little bit of a longer running episode, but just to get most of the story stuff completed for what we need to do here. We'll just hand these over and end things off. But that'll be two out of the five zones knocked out once we can get this done. And then I don't know what to expect from the top northwestern one. I'm guessing that's going to be the mangrove area. And that one... I don't know what horror they'll have lurking there. I'll just have to wait and see. Oh, okay, we'll dock there, I guess. Ah, the researcher. Oh, hello again. What do you need? I have those prototype parts you asked for. Excellent. Let me assemble a device for you. This should allow you to catch specimens from much greater depths. It's a little slow, but you may be able to make some improvements. So that is the sampling device. And yeah, I'll just store away the trawl net. Now, I developed a repulsion machine that produces a bright light and emits a high-pitched noise. Should it deter the creature from attacking or enrage it? I'm not sure. Connect it to the research outpost generator. You'll have to return and re-engage every few hours. Other than that, it's completely automated. Great. Now take a look at the list of specimens. Remember, you'll want to install an activate machine before attempting to collect these. Might also need to improve the equipment I gave you to catch some of these. Okay, interesting. Uh, nothing for now. And I think with that, we'll just undock and then quickly dock again for the autosave to make sure, and bring this episode to a close. Now we're going to see what awaits us with, like, some of these deeper species. But thank you all very much for joining me on this episode of Dredge. If you did enjoy the video, be sure to give it a like, and if you have any comments, tips, or tricks, be sure to leave them all in the comments right down below. And I see you in the next video, survivors. Please remember, as always, to take care and stay alive.